Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to learn Japanese with Kodo. I'm Kodo, your Japanese teacher. I'm so glad to have you here. Do you like soy sauce? I do. Let's talk about it. Well, as you know, soy sauce is a worldwide very famous seasoning. Many people like it. Personally, I really like sushi with soy sauce. It goes with perfect. In Japan, they have a long history of soy sauce. It was introduced from China to Japan in 7th century. Wow, it's almost 1400 years ago. After the introduction, Japan developed soy sauce in its individual way. Actually, they do not call soy sauce, they call shoyu. They started exporting shoyu to foreign countries in the 17th century. In Japan, there are several types of shoyu, so-called soy sauce. The main one is koikuchi, shoyu, that is thick taste soy sauce. Thick taste? What is that? What are you talking about? Well, in English, you can say this book is thick, but the taste is thick? What? Different language, different culture, you know, background. I don't know why they call the taste thick. Actually, the thick taste means strong taste. So, when you go to Japanese restaurant, you order the miso soup, and when you taste it, mmm, well, too much miso is added. So, you can let the waiter know, excuse me, the soup is too strong, too salty. You can say, this soup is koi. Koi. So koi is adjective. That means strong. Koi kuchi. Show you. Kuchi literally means mouth. So when you say koi and kuchi together, koi kuchi means it's not a big mouth. It's strong taste. When you go to a restaurant and order wine, if you want to have a recommendation from a waiter, you can ask, I like strong taste wine. What do you recommend? So if you can say in Japanese, I like koi kuchi wine. Koikuchi, strong taste shoyu, is over 80% production of Japanese domestic production. It originates in Kanto region in Japan. Okay, now let's move on handwriting hiragana. Today we're going to practice hiragana writing koikuchi. That means strong taste. We have a hiragana chart right here. So ko is in the second vertical line. Ka, ki, ku, ke, ko. So all first letter pronunciation is k sound. Ka, ki, ku, ke, ko. And the next e is the first vertical line. A, i, u, e, o. So, i, hiragana, i, we learned already in the past video. The next hiragana is ku. Ku is also in the second vertical line, the third letter, ka, ki, ku. Ke, ko. So, ko and ku. The first letter is K. 
The next hiragana is chi. Chi is the fourth vertical line, ta chi tsu te to. And chi is on the same horizontal line as i. I, ki, shi, chi, ni. In this line, the ending pronunciation is i. The letter I. Iki, shi, chi, ni. So, chi. Ko, i, ku, chi. That means strong taste. Okay, let's practice handwriting. Ko. We learned already, but we practice once again. The next ku. The last one is chi. Why koikuchi? So hiragana is syllabary. All Japanese can be written in hiragana. So if you learn hiragana everything, you can write all Japanese. The reality is not only hiragana, but also kanji, that is the most difficult part, and also katakana, that is used for expressing words come from foreign countries. So basically all these three styles hiragana kanji and katakana are used all together but the first step is hiragana that's what you gotta do okay we talked about soy sauce in japan they call it shoyu today and we learned koikuchi that is for today Next time, we're going to cover part two of soy sauce. I'm so excited to continue. As always, if you like this video or you learn something new, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe this channel. And if you have any comments, questions or requests, please write them down in the comments box. I love to read and respond. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Until next time, take care. Bye.